Sacramento, how's everybody doing? Sacktown Pete back at it again. Sacramento Kings came out tonight and they took care of business, man. Um, played the Portland Trailblazers again tonight in Portland. Final score, 138 to 114. Um, just a game that you should have took care of and you took care of it. Um, you know, this was a really, really good game. Um, the Kings were majority in control of most of the game throughout the whole way. And let's talk about the numbers with the starting five. Demonis Sabonis in 33 minutes tonight. He had 20 points, 12 boards, 8 assists. Harrison Barnes, 30 minutes. He had 11 points, 2 boards, 1 assist. Keegan Murray in 27 minutes. He had 20 points, 3 boards, 3 assists. De'Aaron Fox in 27 minutes. He had 20 points, 8 boards, 11 assists. Kevin Herter, 22 minutes. He had 14 points, 2 boards, 1 assist. I love the fact that the starters did not play big minutes tonight. I love that. Just look at the minutes for the starting five. I love that. Um, let's take a look at the bench. Malik Monk in 25 minutes. He had 20 points, three boards. I'm sorry, two boards, five assists. Davion Mitchell in 19 minutes. He had four points, two boards, five assists. Kessler Edwards came in off the bench. 18 minutes. He had 10 points, two, uh, zero rebounds, two assists. Trey Lyles, 16 minutes. He had seven points, eight boards, one assist. Uh, Alex Lynn got 13 minutes. He had four points, two boards, zero assists. And Terrence Davis had four minutes. He had eight points, zero rebounds, zero assists. I'm laughing because TD is going to be TD, man. He comes in for four minutes, just gets buckets, man. Eight points for, for TD, man. So, shout out to TD. Rashad Holmes got minutes tonight. Two minutes, he has zero points, zero rebounds, one assist. Mentu got two minutes, he has zero points, zero rebounds, zero assist. And Dozier at the end got two minutes. He has zero points, zero rebounds, zero assist. Uh, overall from the game, we shot really well, man. We shot 60, 61% from the field tonight. 19 out of 39 from downtown, 49% there. You know, 11-15 free throws, 73% there, 13 turnovers, and we had 38 dimes. Um, a couple things that stood out to me for tonight's game, Kessler Edwards looked freaking comfortable. Um, just seems like he's a plug-and-play guy. Came in, you know, spotted up, did his thing from the corners and made those threes, you know, playing defense and moving without the basketball tonight. A big shot to Kessler Edwards for making that happen. And a big reason why he got those three-pointers was because of Davion Mitchell's playmaking ability. Um, Day had five dimes today, and half of those dimes were to Kessler Edwards. So, shout out to Davion Mitchell for finding Kessler in the corner. And Malik Monk just did his thing. You know, Malik Monk just came in and got buckets. Um, he took a big hit in the growing area. Um, I thought he was going to sit out or just go to the bench because it was a pretty bad hit. But the fact that he showed his toughness and stayed in the game and got back up really shows you about, you know, how Malik Monk is a fighter and just how you wanted to freaking uh, remain in the game. So shout out to Malik Monk for pushing through after that and getting buckets. And just the overall, the play style of this game, this Sacramento Kings team is locked in, man. They are locked in and they are ready for the playoffs. I mean, make no mistake about it. They are ready. Uh, I love the fact that, you know, at one point I thought, you know, Mike Brown would just wave the white flag and just put in his players in the fourth quarter. Um, he didn't, but it got to a point where, like, later on towards the end of the game, he did put his white flag up and he cleared the bench. I feel like um, it could have been done sooner, but you got to give Portland credit. You know, they hung in there. They tried to fight. They tried to stay in this game as much as they can, but... In the fourth quarter, we just, you know, under five minutes to play. That's when we really just pulled away in this game. And another thing that stood out to me is Alex Lynn. Alex Lynn getting minutes. And I, I love it. I love it. I've been, you know, wanting to see Alex Lynn get some minutes tonight and throughout the season. And it hasn't been much, but um, this is good to see Alex Lynn get some running, man. Because come playoff time, depending on who you're going to match up, if you match up with a team with size and length, you're going to need Alex Lynn to playing that series and I love what he did tonight you know came in had a couple dunks came in he uh, set good screens rebound the ball and that's all you can ask for for Alex Lynn you know in the time that he got tonight so big shout to Alex Lynn for coming in and doing his thing and moving forward uh, we got 47 wins you know on the season 47 and 30 on the season now with five games left um Three out of those five games, you got to win to get to 50. Uh, can it be done? Absolutely, it can be done. Um, 
Will I be disappointed if it's not done? No. No, not even. Will not be disappointed at all because this team has earned it. They've been great all year. And the fact that they've won 47 games compared to the season that they had last year, going through two coaches and winning 30 games, hell of a season. It's crazy to think about it, guys. Like, we went from a top four lottery pick basketball team to a NBA Western Conference powerhouse. That's insane. That doesn't really happen. That's rare. And I am loving every single bit of it. And the fact that technically this is supposed to be a building year and this is her first year with our core in place and to get all together. Scary, scary times ahead. Scary, scary times ahead. Good times for us because we're going to be a force for years to come. But boy, scary time for the NBA. Scary times ahead for the NBA. That's all I'm going to say. And I can't wait. Um, we're 47, 30 on the year. We got a game on Sunday. Sunday's game is going to be an early game, uh, against the San Antonio Spurs at home. We are back at home on Sunday and you expect a win against the San Antonio Spurs team. That's uh, lottery bound. So, uh, I expect the Kings to come out in front of their home crowd on Sunday afternoon and, um, uh, give it to the Spurs and win that game. So I'm looking forward to that game. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below about tonight's game. That's going to do for me for tonight's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, people have been asking me about playoff tickets and if I got the hookup. Listen, if I had the hookup for the playoff tickets, I would hook every single buddy up. Like, that's just uh, one of those things I can't control, and unfortunately, I don't have the hookup. Um, my advice is just if, if, if you're on Twitter... If you're on any of the social media platforms, just follow the Sacramento Kings. I'm sure they'll come out and make a statement regarding uh, playoff tickets and uh, when you'll be able to get them. But um, just keep a lookout. Just keep your phones ready or keep your computers ready because they there's a good chance where they could go on sale pretty soon. And it's going to be a hot ticket to get. So good luck with that, guys. That's going to do it for me for tonight's video. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next video. You guys have yourself a great night. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep pushing forward. The beam is lit. The Sacramento Kings have won, and it's a great start to the weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.